Are you serious? Are you serious? This is a prophecy alert. There is a gripping food shortage. A gripping food shortage expected. Matter of fact, a prophecy just came forth from Harvest Army International. And I've been there twice. I've held two revivals there in the Bronx, New York with Bishop Katie Collins. I can tell you the prophecies that come forth in that church among uh, Bishop Collins and his wife and others that are very prophetic there is astounding, unbelievable even. Well, they have just issued a gripping food alert. I went and did some research then saying, I, I pay close attention to these prophecies. And this is what I found. It was posted by World Vision. Uh, World Vision put out a report back on May the 16th of this year. The delayed effects of the 2016 El Nino warming phenomenon are now settling in worldwide. The global drought worsened by the conflict and severe food shortages is affecting as many as 70 million people throughout Central and East and Southern Africa, the Middle East, and parts of Asia, says the Famine Early Warning Systems Network. Matter of fact, families in parts of Nigeria, which besides part of the drought, part of the famine is caused not just because of the weather, but because of the wars, the Boko Haram, radical Islamic Muslim militants, that are uh, killing people in Nigeria, especially Christians. They hunt Christians down. Also, South Sudan, which is the youngest nation in the world and is in a total state of civil war. Also, Somalia, which is filled with those radical Islamist al-Shabaab and extreme poverty and droughts in the, in the farmland. And Yemen, which is also under a horrific uh, fighting and oppression by the Iranian-backed radical Islamic Muslim militants called the Houthi rebels, who've overcome two, two governments have been overthrown there since the Obama Arab Spring, and there's some famine now going on in Yemen as well. So it's famine and war in every one of these locations. Every one of these locations, Nigeria, that's where the Boko Haram girls were stolen. So Nigeria, South Sudan, Somalia, Yemen, all plagued by famine conditions, drought conditions, and civil wars or radical Islamic oppression. Um, this, these, these four nations will possibly experience famine this year. And if they do not receive enough emergency humanitarian aid, more than one million people in Sri Lanka are struggling with food insecurities after national harvest yielded only 63% less rice than normal due to drought, drought conditions. It's the worst harvest in Sri Lanka in 40 years. Now, some of you may remember, I cover every time that the water turns blood red in the world, 31 times since the first time I covered it when the lake in Texas turned blood red back in August the 1st or, or late July of 2011, that very prophetic year. That year and the year after, there was rain somewhere in that neighborhood about five, six years ago. It rained blood red rain in Sri Lanka and in India. And God was showing me that this was prophetic signs. This just like we'll see when the two witnesses are here, when the water will turn blood red, uh, and the and the, the rain would uh, there would be time when it would slow down the rain. We'd see famines. Jesus even said in the last days, there'd be wars and rumors of wars, and nations would rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom, and famines, pestilences, plagues, diseases, and earthquakes in diverse places. So wars and bring about disease that brings about famine that brings about you know death. These are all part of the four horsemen of the apocalypse that you can read in the book of Revelation. So parts of Central Africa, excuse me, parts of Central America like Haiti are also experiencing very drought-induced food insecurities. The situation in many countries has led the United Nations and World Vision and other aid agencies to ramp up their emergency relief efforts and, of course, their fundraising 
uh, for the for the for the needy. The problem is here when you give to any of those United Nation based groups like UNICEF or uh, or if you give to uh, uh, World Vision or, or the United Nations groups, only less than a dime of what you give actually goes to the people. That's the problem. And so what we have is a crisis. I, I think my job is to tell you this. You need to be praying. I need you to be aware of it. And that let me, I want you to hear, it goes beyond this. This is just a report by the UN. I want you to hear the words of the prophecy coming out of uh, uh, Harvest Army Church International in New York. They weren't talking about just these four or five countries. They were talking about a global food shortage that is being prophesied there. I'm going to let you hear this, and I want you to pray about this and just be aware of it. And we're not telling you anything new. Jesus told us this 2,000 years ago. And with the way that uh, we've seen the uh, uh, change in extreme weather conditions, did you see the heat? Do you realize it was 119 degrees in Phoenix, Arizona yesterday? It was 117 in Las Vegas. It was 120 degrees in Death Valley. It was 108 in Sacramento, California. What? This is insanity. But the Bible says that the sun, that the angel would affect, the sun would become extremely hot. He would release these UV rays. It would start scorching men in the, uh, and, and they would start to bless the beam God because of the extreme heat coming from the sun. We are witnessing uh, extreme weather conditions that are going to bring about, along with the wars, and the rumors of wars, and the, and the idolatry, and the radical Islamic brutality of Sharia law, we are witnessing the coming apocalypse. Let's go now, and it only takes about 22 seconds. I want you to hear this, and I, I'm telling you, these people get these prophecies, and they read them openly in their church service, and they record them, and then they put them on the internet, and then they remind you when they do come to pass, and it's a phenomenal thing how it happens there. Very few people operate in the gift of prophecy. There's Bible prophecy, there's individual prophetic words, and then there is uh, prophetic warnings. And that is what you're hearing at Harvest Army. I'm going to play it for you right now. Harvest Army. Are you serious? Prophecy, June 3rd, 2017. In the spirit, the Lord reveals that food will become a major issue of conflict and weaponry in the world. It is wise for all to have enough of their own in case the shortage, in case of shortage, and be cautious. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We're living, folks, in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. Prophecy, June 3rd, 2017. In the spirit, the Lord reveals that food will become a major issue of conflict and weaponry in the world. It is wise for all to have enough of their own in case the shortage, in case of shortage and be cautious. <laughs> 